Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Wall to wall sunshine across the area. It's going to be a warm afternoon. We're going to see some increasing breezes out there. And uh, once again, with the dry conditions, some pretty high fire dangers. Current temperature 68 degrees. Winds out of the west and southwest at 13 miles per hour. They'll increase out of the west and northwest today around 10 to 20 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts, the stronger winds across the north. And that's where we've got the red flag fire warning. We'll show you that here in just a little bit. Across the entire area, temperatures in the 60s, 64 in Bemidji and Thief River Falls. It's also 64 over in the uh, Devil's Lake area, 66 in Jamestown and down in Sisseton. Now, I mentioned we had no clouds out there, so on the radar, no precipitation out there. It's going to be a dry day today, but fortunately, that will be changing as we head through the day tomorrow. That, because of this system, just off to our south. It's going to take its time working off towards the north and northeast. It's going to give us some beneficial rain as we hit through late Saturday on into Saturday night and into Sunday. Could see half an inch to perhaps an inch of rain. On the colder side of this storm, a lot of snow caused quite a few crashes on Interstate 80 yesterday in Wyoming. A bus crash apparently near the Denver area just a, earlier today, measuring that snow in feet in some locations. On the warm side of the storm, some severe weather possible. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect for much of central Texas. Storm system we're watching is this one. It's going to drift off towards the north and the northeast and give us that chance for some rain. We'll take a look at that on the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Today we're going to see those temperatures continuing to rise up into the 60s and 70s. And again, it's going to be dry out there. Take care of discarding cigarettes and be, take care if you're doing any barbecuing. Keep a close eye on those flames and outdoor burning. Again, not a good idea until we get some of that rain as we head through the weekend. So we head through the overnight hours, mostly clear skies, but then as we head through the day tomorrow, we're going to see those clouds increase from south to north across the region. And then as we head towards the latter portions of the day, we're going to start to see the rain begin to increase across the region. We could even see one or two rumbles of thunder in our southern and southwestern counties as we head through tomorrow evening. The good news is Beneficial rains, and again, half an inch to an inch of rain, not out of the question in many locations. There is the red flag fire warning from northeastern North Dakota throughout northern Minnesota. This in effect from now until 8 o'clock this evening. Extremely high fire danger here, and it's still a high fire danger throughout the rest of the region. Today, breezy, getting into the 70s. Tomorrow, we're going to see that rain move on in, a touch cooler as we start to see some increasing clouds late in the day. And then as we head through the rest of the weekend and on into next week, a chilly time of it with temperatures highs in the 40s and 50s lows in the 20s and 30s some showery rain as we head towards Sunday afternoon overnight Sunday and into Monday and some of that rain could mix with a little bit of snow but at this point not expecting any accumulations the good news is though moisture Mm -hmm. Good moisture is on its way. And I, you've said it before, any form of precipitation is yeah, rude. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. going to be mostly rain, but you might see a few flakes. All right. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm.